Pedro Pascal, the charismatic star of HBO's The Last of Us, surprised everyone at the SAG Awards with his unexpected win for Best Male Actor in a Drama Series. But it wasn't just his stellar performance that had tongues wagging. This is, uh, this is, this is wrong for a number of reasons. Um, I'm a little drunk. Uh, I thought I could get drunk. Pascal's candid admission about not expecting the win and his lighthearted approach to celebrating added an extra layer of intrigue to the evening. Uh, oh, jeez, Louise. Um, I'm making a fool of myself. But thank you so much for this! But what's even more intriguing than his surprise victory? Let's delve into Pedro Pascal's fascinating love life. Are you nervous? Yeah. Why? Because you're trying to make me nervous, and I'm a vulnerable person, and it works. And I'm hungover. Pedro Pascal is a total heartthrob, and he knows it, too. I am your cool slutty daddy. Fans of the Latino actor have been dying to know, is he married? Is he dating? What's happening in his personal life? Pedro Pascal's recent hype comes from his role as Joel in the HBO Max adaption of the video game The Last of Us. His character is a father who loses his only daughter in an apocalyptic world. He is understandably broody, angsty, and sour ever since. I got those scripts, I read them, and then I just begged him to give me the job, basically. It's hinted in The Last of Us that Pedro's character has a partner in the series, Tess, a fellow smuggler. However, it's unclear if they were ever official or to what extent their relationship was. Much like his on-screen life in real life, Pascal's romantic history is equally difficult to decipher. The Chile native dated Orange as the new black star Maria Dizia. The timeline here is a bit murky, though. Love is very complicated. The circumstances are complicated. According to reports, the former couple met in the 90s, and that's allegedly when they started their romance. However, some sources claim Pascal and Dizia met on the set of Law & Order. In 2008, the former lovebirds shared an episode in the legal drama series where they played a prostitute and her thuggish boyfriend. We're not sure exactly when they broke up, and since the actor is so private about his love life, there were never any comments or statements made about when and why they broke up. Maria and Pedro made a cute couple on and off screen, though. We do hope it wasn't something disastrous that led to their split. In 2014, rumors that Pascal was dating another co-star made their rounds. At the time, the actor had landed a role in HBO's hit fantasy drama Game of Thrones. The mysterious prince occasionally appeared in the same scenes as Queen Cersei Lannister. May I show you the gardens? I couldn't very well refuse a royal escort. This was when fans started to get the idea that the two characters looked kind of cute together. Then Lena Headey and Pedro Pascal were spotted out and about offset. Needless to say, Game of Thrones fans lost their marbles. You know, things like that obviously just... Uh, it makes sense, they grow and they grow. It didn't help the rumors when the actress posted a photograph of herself and her co-star looking all cozy together on her Instagram. She captioned the post, Sunshine Love. Lena is one of my favorites, and she's so funny and so smart. Such a good person, a good friend, and a good mother, the heartthrob once said. The statement cemented that the co-stars were merely friends. However, Pedro did admit a slight attraction. I think everyone on that set and anyone who comes in contact with her develops an instant crush, he said. Pascal's comments never confirmed a romantic relationship, but Heedy dismissed the rumor. When the actress announced that she was pregnant in 2015, she danced around the subject of who the child's father is. At some point, rumors started going around that her Game of Thrones co-star was the baby daddy. That wasn't true, of course. Two years after giving birth, the actress let the public know that the father of her child is ex-husband Dan Caden. Adding to the list of rumored girlfriends was Sarah Paulson. The American Horror Story star is often pictured with Pascal at events and on red carpets. They're not shy to post pictures of each other on the gram either, because they're really good friends. Yeah, he's been my like my dearest friend since I was 19 years old. People now all of a sudden really care about him, and so right. now that when we walk down the street together, it becomes like this thing that never was before. In a joint interview for Interview Magazine, they retold the story of their first meetup. Picture the scene. It's the early 90s in New York City. Sarah and Pedro were young actors stepping into their journeys to Hollywood fame. This was the first day they came to know of one another. Some friends invited the duo to go see the movie Fearless on the Upper East Side. As the story is told, the whole group was sobbing by the end of the film. Then they went to a park and drank some beers. While adventuring in the park, Pascal, Paulson, and friends ran into Woody Harrelson. 
According to the friends, no one else in the group knew who Woody Harrelson was, but these young actors sure did. Sarah and Pedro would both admit to geeking out over meeting the White Men Can't Jump star at the time. Talk about a memorable first meeting. They have remained friends ever since, and their posts together are absolutely adorable. From selfies to witty Twitter exchanges, it's a wholesome friendship. People want you to say everything out loud about what you do or don't do, and I'm just like, this is my best friend, and if you want to lick my face and you want to think that we're getting married, go ahead and think it. Also in 2015 came another rumor about who Pedro was romancing. Paparazzi caught the actor leaving a sushi restaurant in Los Angeles with Robin Tunney by his side. After the photos were posted, rumors began that the actors were dating. The duo were co-stars on the hit TV drama The Mentalist. They were spotted together a few times, seemingly enjoying each other's company. There was one specific photo where the 47-year-old had his arm around Robin's shoulders as they strolled around Hollywood. The rumored couple was headed for breakfast. The body language between the pair and the fact that they often shared meals were enough for fans to assume a romantic connection. We should mention that Robin has been with her partner, Nikki Marmot, since 2012. The lovebirds share two children together and are also engaged. Once again, the rumors about Pedro's love life were wrong. After a while, Pedro and Robin were no longer seen together and the rumors that they were dating fizzled out. Then, the public learned of the very close relationship that the Mandalorian star has with his fellow Star Wars actor, Oscar Isaac. The handsome actors regularly flaunt their tight friendship on Instagram. Pascal once called Isaac the love of my life in Spanish in a caption on Instagram. These two have the ultimate bromance, which goes back to 2005. What language does Oscar Isaac speak? Uh, what would you call it? Uh, I would call I would it say... annoying. <laughs> The language of love. Oscar is no stranger to space-themed films, having been in both Star Wars and Dune. An interviewer asked him who he'd like to co-star with in his next space adventure. The reply had us wishing we could join this friendship. I'd have to say my sweet girlfriend Pedro, my girl, Isaac started. That's my baby, he added, and finished with the statement that had fans ecstatic. It's my Pedro. Okay, we can see how some may have misconstrued this bromance for an actual romance, but at the end of the day, the love between these two is purely platonic. While the actors are close, there's no real evidence of a romantic relationship, especially since Isaac married his wife Elvira Lind in 2017. The rumors about the Chilean native being gay also come from the support he shows toward LGBTQIA rights. Pascal was never shy of showing his support, especially because his sister is transgender. Having played an openly bisexual character, the star has a whole Reddit group dedicated to his Game of Thrones character called Gay for Oberyn. It's so wonderful. I think it's all a spectrum, right? Straight men can have, or do have, crushes on other men. I was super flattered, Pedro shared. The actor even choked that the guys that used to bully him in middle school probably have a crush on him now. We love a man who knows his worth. Of all his accomplishments, we think it's safe to say that Pascal's favorite might be that he is the internet's daddy. The Great Wall actor is so comfortable with his fans' labels that he would stare down a reporter's camera lens and declare loud and clear, I am your cool, slutty daddy. In fact, on Vanity Fair magazine's lie detector series, Pedro admitted that he knows full well he is a heartthrob. That's right. Yes, I am a, yes, I'm a heartthrob. Am I lying? That's the truth? I'm a heartthrob. The Narcos alum also confessed that sometimes when he's feeling down, he looks at Instagram accounts dedicated to his good looks. His favorite is called Pedro Pascal Fan Account. Well, there you have it. Pedro Pascal is as single as that sock at the back of the washing machine. But one thing he isn't is lonely. The actor has a loving friendship that he has carried from the onset of his acting career and is surrounded by adoring fans. Is he looking for a romance? We couldn't tell. He barely shares anything about his love life. 